What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this. So, a new videotape was handed over to authorities, allegedly with R. Kelly in it, with another minor. This video was handed over to Chicago authorities due to a long and 10 month investigation they've been doing. On this tape, it's graphic and detailed about what was seen on it. Alleged R. Kelly is on this tape having sex with a 14 year old minor according to what's being said in the tape. They having sex, the girl is commanded to urinate on him then he urinates on the girl, similar to the last situation he had in 2002. This was uh, uh, in similar like manner. They have they they trying to just come down to seeing. This is a different girl too. It's not the same girl. This is a different girl. They trying to find out um, the direct age of this person. Not just going off of what's being said on the tape. Because in the tape, they saying this that 14-year-old P-U-S-S-Y. And he's saying it too. And she's saying it too. So this is how they come up with she may be 14 years old. Then they saying she looked to be underage also. So they trying to come up with a a, a accurate uh count of how old this young girl is and exactly who this young girl is. Now this tape was handed over by somebody in R. Kelly's circle. And here's the thing about the R. Kelly situation and why it's taking a long time for this indictment to go down. Because a lot of people affiliated with him going down too who actually uh, uh, conspired with him in these things from his handlers who purposely went out to go get these underage girls and bring them to them. They are all going to go down for this man's action. And I think a lot of them is understanding that. And they starting to work with authorities and things like that. Because they play a hand in that. They play a hand in this. Even though they may not have participated sexually wise. But in their knowing and in their involvement of uh, helping. They are going to be also... Uh, uh, prosecuted with this man and his actions and what he's been doing. Now, this is the second uh, videotape that came up. And this 14-year-old girl that's on this tape, um, allegedly, uh, he having sex with him, man. And the only thing about it is it's on a VCR tape. And we know how long ago VCR tapes was. So I'm just trying to see how they're going to bring and put that together. I can't even recall the last time I saw a VCR tape. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's the only thing about this, like the dates and trying to get things together on the time. But the FBI definitely been working on the R. Kelly uh, uh, indictment for a while. It's, it's going to go down. There is an indictment on the way, without a doubt. They just trying to make sure they don't mess nothing up this time. And that is done right. It's a lot of people that are willing to cooperate with the authorities on this situation. Um, we have to we have to separate the man from the music. And this is what I mean by separate the man from the music. A lot of times people don't want to separate the man from the music. They believe because he gave us and blessed us with so much good music. And how much of a genius he was when it came to doing music that it should be able to overshadow his actions of what he doing when breaking the law and purposely taking advantage of these young girls. And um, a lot of people don't know how to separate the two. They tend to like him because he R. Kelly and they feel connected with him like they personally, his family, or know him or they're just some, another plot to bring a black man down. At the same time, he have to be accountable for his actions and what he's doing. What is in the dark definitely comes to the light. The reason why this man continue to do the things that he do is because he haven't got any help. He haven't got any help. And usually when brothers like him go through this and do this, they try to be more clever with how they handle things and do them a little differently. 
it's kind of sad and sickening because the things he's doing, he don't even have to do. We're talking about the best R&B songwriter, arguably singer that ever lived, that ever lived. Where everywhere around the world he go, you got hundreds and thousands of women of all race, color, sizes uh, that's willing to give him whatever he want. That you don't have to abuse women. It's women who probably, it, it, it's so many fine, beautiful women from the ages of 18 that's legally up. You like, look, you like young coochie like that? 18 is the, is the, is the legal age. You could have got that. You could have got that, R. Kelly. You know how many 18, 19, 20, 21 year old women around the world that's legal, of legal age, where it's legal, would have done that with you? You didn't have to, you don't have to do that. You don't have to be. This dude, this dude literally go to high schools and pick up young girls at high schools. This dude literally hang out at McDonald's. Literally. To pick up young young kids. Because you know young kids like McDonald's. This, 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 this is sickening. This is crazy. They even got this brother allegedly having sex with his own family members. This is a brother that's sick in the head. Although he appeared to be functional and he appeared to be wise and intelligent and, 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 and very creative with his music, there's a chemical off balance within himself in his own life. Anytime a man desire to have sex with his own mother something is wrong man and according to his brother his sister was raping them when they were young making them um eat her out when she was old way older than them so he probably been affected by that but it don't justify look it don't justify his actions and wrong or what he doing it's sick we have to we have to separate the man from the music you could like his music because you can't ignore it. It's good music. But as a man of what he did, you must be accountable for your actions regarding to your music. I don't care how many songs you wrote. I don't care how good you can sing. I don't care how long you've been working with people and what you've done for the community. It don't justify the wrong that you've done and this trail of pedophilia that you've been doing with these minors that you continue to do when you're 50, 40, and 30 years old doing these to these uh, young girls and you purposely seeking them out to do this and you know it ain't like it ain't like well I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a, for the most part it ain't like we know a lot of girls lie about their age that happened to me a couple times too where girls done lied about their age you know what I'm saying and Usually when you in the street life and doing stuff like that, you don't be like, let me see your ID, let me see your ID. You ask a girl what's up, like, hey, how old are you? Then they'll tell you, like, I'm 18, I'm 19. Come to find out she might be 16 or 17, things like that. Because we know for the most part, a lot of sisters and stuff, they bodies develop real quick. Some develop quicker than others. I just seen 10-year-old girls strapped like 10? Like, that's crazy. Some people like that. And we and when you black, that's not that's not rare. That's like common. So I know some women and they mature quicker than guys. So they 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 could lie about their age and get in clubs under age and things like that. I have seen it, been through stuff like that. I know that. But this man ain't being well, let me say he not being lied to because it was a situation where he asked the girl how old she was. She told him she was 19. Come to find out she was really 16. But she said just before they finna have sex, she told him she was 16. But told him she was 19 first so she can get to his house. And then when they finna have sex, she said, no, I'm really 16. I, I mean, see, it's stuff like that. That's just horrible. But for the most part, he, he personally seek out young girls. But you don't even, he didn't even have to do this. You rich. You, it's like, this is what I mean by power and control. You rich. You don't want nobody giving it to you. You want to believe you taking it. You want to see that, that that's what's wrong with his mind. 
He don't want a woman that freely want to give it to him. Like, hell, me and my girls, come on, let's go, R. Kelly. I got two bad females who are willing to do this with you. We can have threesome, foursome. He don't want it like that. He 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 wanna he wanna make it like he's taking it. Like it's too easy. He want the challenge of knowing that he made this happen. He made it happen. These things, if you look at his 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 actions of what he doing, you will find out the actions of what he doing, it's like some of the same thing we hearing all over the internet, the steps and brainwashing that the Illuminati do to these celebrities where they sign and then they, they, they force to do things they normally wouldn't do that they may have control. Some form of blackmail. This is the same thing he doing. This is the same thing he doing. It's like what they doing to him, he doing to them. He doing to others. If, if, you, watch, if you look what he doing, it's the same exact steps. Girls is on record saying he make them sign the contract first. And the contract is really to protect him in case they want to go out and speak against him. He got contracts with unsigned dates on them. Uh, them saying they just wanted to have sex with him. They just wanted his money. We apologize. It's like he, 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 he blackmailed them. So in case they leave, he can show the paper saying, look. See, she wrote me an apology letter because she was stealing from me and all she wanted was sex and wanted to just be a part of me for fame and popularity in case he ever get in situations like this that could be used to his advantage that he may be uh, freed. He had them also participate in having sex with minors if he having sex with a minor so that in case they tell you guilty too because you did this too. You had sex with him too. See what I'm saying? He keep them in the rituals so that they could also uh, 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 be guilty just like him. And for the most part, some of them women of age who have grown, they volunteered. And they were participating on some of them young people also. I think a lot, I think mostly everybody involved in this situation is sick, except for the minors, except for the underage young girls. You know what I'm saying? But even the parents, like, how is it that your 14-year-old daughter is gone and they not coming home? I don't get that. I don't get that at all. That 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 just makes no sense. That your 14-year-old daughter could be unaccounted for for all these hours and days and weeks. And they 14. And it's a little girl. What parent don't really guard the daughters? You know what I'm saying? You would figure a parent would really be overprotective of the daughters. So what parent ain't guarding over the daughters when you know how vulnerable young girls is? And we know a lot of young girls also just wild and reckless. See, this this situation is crazy because you, when you think of minors, you want to think of minors as being not really mature, being taken advantage of. Um, being simple-minded, easily influenced. But then you have those minors that's just real rebellious, that just don't give a damn. Cuss out their mother, will fight them, curse, run the street, smoke, having sex like crazy, having sex like crazy, purposely lying about their age, having sex with older men and stuff like that. Let's just be real. It's out here like that. But for R. Kelly, man, this is his M.O. He purposely doing that. And it's sickening because you don't have to do it, man. You brothers ain't got to rape and take and do that, man. You got women all over the world. Bad. Fine. Get it to you for nothing. This brother threw a concert and 90% of the people in there is all women that won't have sex with him. Without him even coming out of his pocket. But that's that sickness. That, that's what it does, man. That's what it does. Where nothing is never enough. Nothing is never enough. And then it's the same type of brother who's going to be saying, you know, I just want God. I just want to be with my kids. I just want to be with my family. Right. Now all that. You weren't thinking about that when you were doing what you're doing. Now you're in trouble when you caught up. Now you want your kids. Now it's about God. Now it's about family. Now it's about just trying to be right. Now you need help. Get out of here. But when you was in your sick 
twisted, sadistic action and doing the things you were doing, you wasn't thinking about none of the above. You wasn't thinking about none of the above. This dude caught the first rape case. What he do? Start trying to go to church, pretending like he gave his life to God, did a gospel album and everything. Right. You can't pimp God. You can't play God. But God would allow allow himself to, but 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 God will be there for you if you call out for him. But this only goes against you. And that's why his situation finna be worse than it ever was. The Bible say what happens when an unclean spirit comes out of a man? It go through dry areas looking for a place to rest and find none. Then the spirit said, I will return back to the body I was kicked out of. And when he returned back to the body and see that the Holy Spirit is not present in that man's body, he go back and get seven more demons that was more powerful than him. And they go right back and overtake that man. And that man was worse off than he was the first time. This R. Kelly situation. He got away with it the first time. And then what he tried to do is be more creative with how he acts since he knew that he was under a microscope. So he tried to be more, 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 um, more controlling of the environment and situation, more controlling of it. You know what I'm saying? To try to contain it, to keep it up under his roof, hoping that it'll never go no further than that. Only now for it to be worse, for it to be worse now. And this is what's happening. So he definitely going down and it's hitting him in every area. They're taking all his music down. they really muting him. So no financing coming through. He don't own his rights and publishing or nothing like that. So it's a wrap. So they finna hit your pocket. Them lawyer fees finna kill you. You ain't really got no money rolling in. Then you finna get sued by the families. You finna be broke and locked up in prison. And locked up in prison. So I wouldn't be surprised if this man tried to kill himself. Especially when he's dealing with all them demons and stuff, wrestling with them in his mind and head. Now he's afraid. He know he's going to go to prison. All this coming out on him, they hitting him from every side. I wouldn't be surprised if this man committed suicide, man. I'm just keeping it 100 with you. He and his team now, they all under federal investigation too. Everybody involved with him. It's not just him. All his handlers, everybody that helped and everybody that participated, everybody that watched and knew what was going on, everybody that went out and pulled young girls out and escorted young girls and went and go pick them up, they all going to jail. They all going to jail. The feds is on them. This ain't finna be just no one indictment on R. Kelly. These victims are telling on all the parties and balls, even from the handlers. So with that being said, another tape been discovered on R. Kelly, a sexual tape. On the tape, uh, it can, it's uh, alleged to be a minor of the age of 14 years old, according to the minor on the tape and R. Kelly. And it's only a matter of time. His brother going down. Separate the man from the music, y'all. That's just real talk. Separate the man from the music. And it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. And like I said, what I mean, the man from the music. It's okay to like his music, man. Music is good. Mu his music not the problem. The man is the problem. The man is the problem. So separate the man from the music. And don't try to just give a brother a pass because you like his music. And this Battle Truth.